Hi friends, today I'm going to make a baklava. I've got a pan on here and I'm going to add a cup of water. For the baklava, I'm going to make a syrup and a cup of sugar. So both are equal quantity. In that, I'm going to add a few cinnamon stick and let it get boiled. This has to just dissolve and boil. We don't have to make a sugar syrup with the um, one string or two string like any other, other Indian sweets. So let it come to boil and by the time I'm going to make a filling. So with the filling, lots of varieties are there. You can make pistachio filling, you can make almond filling, you can make pistachio and almond mix or walnut filling. I don't like personally walnut because walnut, if they are a little bit old, they release the oil from it and sometimes they taste very bad. So I prefer making pistachio baklava. So here I've got a pistachio, one cup of pistachio, which I am going to grind it. Not too fine, but a kose and then we'll do the rest. Syrup is ready, pistachio is ready, one is for the filling and the very powdery is from for the top. So let's start, I have got here a baking tray in that I have put one filo pastry, so one sheet and then you can brush the butter. So like this, you brush the butter. Every layer you have to brush the butter. If you want, you can melt it more. I have not melted it. Just kept it out from the fridge. So that's why you can see it's not melted. So here I have got in one filo pastry, there are eight sheets. So what I'm going to do like this, one by one, I'm going to put four sheets and every layer we have to butter the sheets. So let me put the four sheets here and layer all of them. So this is the second now. You can see the second layer. And then on the second layer, we are going to brush again. Don't worry, you can just, if it is gone on the side of the tray, you can brush it down and just brush the butter. But make sure that all layers have got the butter. Once the syrup is cooled down, you can add in this a little bit of rose water. There is a kevra water pit which they use it in the baklava. So that also you can use it in any of the grocery shop. You can buy easily available. The kevra water known as rose water, kevra water. So both of them or one of them so i'm just waiting my syrup to cool down then i'll be adding the rose water so likewise i'm going to do all the sheets first four sheets so these four sheets are done now after the fourth one we are going to put this pistachio filling make sure they are same level everywhere <coughs> spread out
don't waste the pishta issue anyway no food should be wasted according to me so now you can see everywhere it looks same if anywhere it is not reach just spread it that's what i am doing so it is even everywhere as i said you can use what the filling you like amon pistachio mix of pistachio amon and uh, walnut so it's everybody's choice so now this fourth and now on the top again the layer of filo pastry will come it's because they are out from in the near the oven so that's why it is like this but as soon as they'll go in the baking tray with the butter on they all will be even and nicely done so now i am going to butter them each of them and then i'll show you what to do the at the end now the last layer is done what we are going to do now the shape you want you can cut them the shape and i have got a oven preheated already so i'm going to keep it there and bake it after cutting so that's how, how i have cut it and now i'm going to put it in the oven to bake it till it is pinkish brown on the top i took it out you can take it out it if, before it is bit red but i wanted to make a little bit ready on the top so now the sugar syrup what we made it we have to pour them quickly on the top so evenly everywhere actually i'm going to make a two trays that's why i've made a little bit of extra sugar syrup the next batch will be a roll one not this one the square baklava but a roll baklava so which i will do it now preparation for the other one so i bought the two filo pastry now it is soaked everywhere you can see and if anywhere you find that it is not been done you can put a extra there because they are crispy so you have to put maybe extra bit there so it's not crisp and comes out you can hear that noise I like that i like this way and with the sugar syrup it will melt down and now what we have got here the powder from the pistachio so each of them we are going to decorate like this just generously and when you will bite the pistachio from inside and the powder on the top will taste really nice oh yeah um while my sugar syrup was cooling down i added a syrup into it the rose water if you want you can add you can skip but it tastes nice so that's why i added it a little bit i'll let it cool down then i'm going to serve it because if you want you can have a warm baklava but it tastes nice when they cool down so here you go guys 
this is my version of baklava and now we are going to make the next batch which is a roll baklava which we am going to do it on the rolling pin and i am going to make that one with the almond filling in that you don't need too much of filling because it is gets rolled so very little little filling it goes inside so they are ready now and we'll let it cool down then we are going to cool it and serve it thank you for watching please like my page share with your friends press the bell icon so you get the notification when i post the new videos